Hey everybody, last week I talked about pushover.net, which is a service that allows you to push notifications to your phone so that if you have like a service go down or anything you want at all, you can send a push notification that will even make your phone make noise if it's on silent, depending on how you set it up. It's actually really cool. I love pushover.net. I paid five bucks so that I could use it on my phone and I have no regrets. There are some free uh, alternatives out there, but I really like it being hosted on somebody else's server. I paid for it, so I feel like it's a robust service. Anyway, I'll put a link wherever you put links if you want to check out that video on how to set it up. But the reason I set it up is because I had a website go down and it was down for several days and I didn't know it. So a friend like messaged me and said, hey, why is this site down? I looked and I just had to restart the service, but I didn't even know it was down. And that really ticked me off. So this week I want to show you the tool that I use, and this one actually is completely free, uh, to test for websites or other services being up and down. And then I can use push pushover.net to get those notifications sent to me in real time. There are other ways that you can send notifications, but it's a great marriage. It's called Uptime Robot. Now, if you have a hard time remembering uptimerobot.com, just think of the Billy Joel song, Uptown Girl. And for some reason, that helps me remember Uptime Robot. Yeah, I won't sing for anymore. Anyway, Uptime Robot is a service. Now, you can pay if you need like lots and lots and lots of monitors. But if you need just 50 monitors, which is far more than I need, uh, it's completely free and it will check every five minutes and send you a notification. So you can sign up for it or I'm just going to log in here really quick so that I can show you how it works. No, oh, my password is all dots. Now you know. <laughs> uh, it'll take you to the dashboard and you can see I have four of these set up. Now, UCF, Snarko Cloud, these are just names that I've set up, some websites that I manage. And this has been going for a while because I set this up for uh, actually the same time that I set up pushover.net. So these two, BOS and UCF, these are two of my websites. Notice this morning they actually went down. Actually, let's click on one. The BOS is just the Brain of Sean website. You'll notice that this morning, if I hover over here at nine o'clock in the morning, it was down down for nine minutes and it came back up. Now I got push notifications. I was not anywhere I could log in, but I knew that it was happening and it came back up automatically. But it's really cool because it gives you all sorts of statistics, uh, uptown, uptown, <laughs> now I got that in my head, uptime uh, percentages, etc. It'll go through the history of events for each individual thing. It's a really, really nice tool that will give you notifications. And here's the deal. Let's set up a new monitor. I'll just click new monitor. Remember, you get 50 of them, uh, up to 50 for free. And then there's several monitor types too. So I have just been setting up the web types things where, where it looks for like a, a successful connection to the web server. Uh, but you can also set up a ping or a port. Uh, if you pay for pro, you can get heartbeat. I don't even know what keyword is. You might have to check that one out and look. But I'm just going to set up another website one. And a friendly name, I'm going to say the goog and for a url or ip address i'm going to say https colon slash slash google.com we're just going to check google's uptime okay now the monitoring interval every five minutes you can increase this if you want but the lowest you can go is five minutes and that's perfectly fine for me i don't need it to be like every second checking every five minutes is perfectly fine for me and then there are some other options that you can add like if you're looking for custom statuses for those http websites but down here is where I wanted to show you actually the types of notifications that you can set up. Now, this tells this says like, where do you want the notification set if this goes down? Usually I check all of mine. And what I have here is this is an email type notification. This is a text message notification, but this doesn't use uh, actual text message. It uses an email gateway uh, to connect to my phone. So sometimes it's not really reliable. That's where I really wanted pushover to be there as well. So it uses pushover. It uses actually all three to make sure I get the notification. And if it goes down, it will send me that notification. So I'm going to say create monitor and it's going to add it over here, actually I do another one, I'm just gonna click close. And you'll see over here, it says now the Goog, and it will continue checking every five minutes to see for uptime. These I just created recently, I made them 37 minutes ago apparently, uh, but that's all you have to do. And then if it goes down, it's going to send a notification to my actual phone. I don't know, let's see, if I took one down. Um, all right, I, uh, I don't really want to necessarily take down a website. Uh, maybe they'll take Google down for me. <laughs> oh, no, that, that wouldn't be a good thing at all. 
Okay, I actually just shut off my cloud server, so this actually should show downtime. I might have to pause the video here for a couple minutes to see. Uh, I'm actually going to leave it running to see if it shows me in real time or if I need to refresh the page. So I'm going to leave this right here in do 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 do. We'll let it go. Uh, we'll see if it automatically updates. So let's go. Let's go back to the main dashboard rather than going into. Uh, they're specifically into one particular page. So here we are, five monitors, they're all up. Let's see if cloud goes down or if I have to keep refreshing. Actually, let's put it in TV mode. I think that'll give us a link here. There we go. And this should automatically refresh. Yeah, there, it's gonna refresh every minute if we put it in TV mode. Uh, so you could put this just on your screen to watch all of your monitors, but it should, I did shut that server down. So it should any minute give us a notification and switch to down mode. All right, there we got a notification that it's down. It says monitor is down cloud and shows me the website. And if we look, once this refreshes, we should see one down. So the, the here's the timer up here. I'm just going to quickly skip ahead. And there, sure enough, we can see that we have one down. And if we go out of TV mode, we can get more details. Uh, sure enough, cloud is down. If we click on that, we can see information like when it last went down it's currently down connection timeout and so i mean it told us and i got that notification i don't know if you could hear it tweetle on my phone but it's really nice because it gives me that push notification and i'm able to oh i also got the text notification because remember we set up multiple notifications so i just got the text but that push notification came almost immediately uh once the five minute timer or however long uptime robot uses five minutes uh it came right to my phone and told me so if you're looking for a way to monitor websites or ip addresses for being up or down those sorts of things uptime robot is awesome you get 50 monitors for free that's more than i'm going to need to use for sure uh and you it it coincides really well with pushover.net or any, it, it has a whole list of things that it integrates with, but that's the one that I'm using along with that uh, email to text gateway, which isn't terribly reliable, but also I have an email that it sent me to. I just got notification of a new email uh, that my site is down. So anyway, check it out, uptimerobot.com. You can sing the song if you need to help, need help remembering and um, play with that with pushover.net. I'll see you next time on the Brain of Sean tech tip of the day thing. Uh, have a great day.